Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I am doing great. It's a beautiful day out. I hope you're uh, out enjoying it, or at least home enjoying it, because uh, I am. But I wanted to do a little box opening for you, and I'm sure you've seen this size box once or twice before. And if you saw the title, you know what is in it. So let's just get on. As we use, typically do, we go ahead and use our trusty knife to cut into the box. Usually trying to cut away. This again is from my uh, good friends at Goulet Pens. And they do their typical extraordinary wrapping. Got my Tootsie Roll Pop. Got my invoice. A little sample of ink. Let's see, this one is the Noodler's Habanero. It's uh, kind of an orangish brown. I'm kind of liking this. I don't have a pen quite this color, but uh, I'll see maybe. I'll keep that in mind. And of course, their thank you from it. But let's get to our little guy from Lamy. And this is the all black AL Star. And that I ordered from them. Got the little paperwork, warranty policy. Never read the warranty policy. Most people don't. And I still won't. Because so far I've been enjoying the Lamy pens. They've uh, never disappointed me. So let's just get this going. I'm going to take this little plastic or cardboard ring, take that out of there. There's the uh, little ink cartridge they give you to get going. It's a blue ink. I was hoping for a black one since it is an all black. So we'll get that inked up in a few minutes. But this is the all black. You got the black nib. Got the black casing. It's a, it's a pretty dark casing. I know they have a gray or charcoal. Uh, so this is much darker. I've been, and I've been looking to do the charcoal one or buy the charcoal to kind of span out my... Uh, my collection there to kind of fill out my collection that I have but I think this might fill the gap instead with it being all black as far as uh, the nib the clip is also black got a nice look to it nice solid click to it as usual so and uh, I did something a little different this time I got this in the extra fine so I want to see how this uh, syncs up with the other ones usually I go medium and sometimes fine, but this will, this will be the first extra fine that I got in the Lamy pen. So let's go ahead and ink this guy up and do a little writing test. So I got this guy all inked up. I found a little black cartridge I could put in there so it's all ready to go. Like I said, this is the extra fine. And I also found a fine in the Lamy. And also the medium that I have in the, in the Lamy. So I got all three going here. The extra fine, the fine, and a medium. So we're going to get uh, a little side by side comparison. Like I said, I typically don't buy the extra fine. So I like how Lamy has these side grips on the pen. Uh, it enables your fingers to get the exact position. It doesn't put too much pressure or indentation on the uh, finger that holds up the pen or uh, supports the pen. So I was able to uh, get pretty accustomed to the grip on the Lammies. I do like how they write and feel when I'm writing, so that is a good plus because when you're writing a long time, you want to be able to enjoy the feel and the hold of it. So that is the extra fine nib in all black. Let me just put that down to there. And the next one, I believe, is my fine. He also has a nice grip on the sides and the uh, bottom and everything, so that is supporting it very nicely. And someday I'll learn how to write Lamy. I keep writing Lamy. You can see this is quite a bit thicker than the extra fine nib so 
So you got the extra fine, you got the fine. So then let's go ahead one more test. I got my medium nib. This is the uh, one in aluminum. I didn't typically get the medium in the uh, plastic one. So this is the uh, Lamy All Star, I believe it is. And he's having trouble getting out of the gate. It appears this one is out of ink, and if I had looked in the reserve, I would have known that. So let me grab another guy here. All right, so we have our technical difficulties uh, situated here. Finally got this guy inked up. All the other ones were uh, out of ink, so I wasn't able to use those. But uh, I got this uh, medium-sized All-Star uh, Blue Lamy. It does have a black ink in it, though. And this is the medium nib, so you can tell from the other ones that it is uh, quite rounded. You can tell that it's quite heavier and it's ink lay down than the other ones. So you got the uh, medium size here. I got my all black extra fine. And then, of course, I got my fine. Oops, he's skipping. Not too often now, but it does skip once in a while. I haven't used this one in a while, so it's uh, probably going to skip occasionally. But they do start running uh, pretty quick. Once you do a few passes, if it is dried out a little bit, you typically don't have to do too much work to get it going again. And uh, that is the case with this one. Sometimes you, I run just a little bit of water from the tap just to kind of wet it and then I wipe it clean but uh, see it's kind of skipping a little bit and it could be because it's running low on ink. It seems to be holding up fairly well. Let me pop the cap on that one move the paper over here on the medium you can hear kind of a scratching I don't mind too much of a grip when you're trying to write with the fountain pen because I typically don't write too quick or fast with the fountain pen because I know it can uh, kind of catch the paper or the fibers of the paper so I try to be a little more consistent and slow and just to see how it will grip on the paper. And just lay down a quick line or two. So I'm, I think I do like the extra fine. Like I said, I haven't uh, purchased them before. It does seem to have a nice feel to it. Uh, a lot of times you'll see one of the uh, one of the illustrators I follow on Instagram actually uses uh, fountain pens to do his drawings and this stuff just like I do but you'll see him or at least I will in some of his photos do it upside down and the Lamy doesn't really like that situation it prefers your typical situation of the nib where it's flat along the surface now I am liking the extra fine point. I'll probably do uh, a few more in the future. Kind of a combination of the extra fine, fine and medium. Uh, like I said, I typically just stay with the fine and medium, but I do like the way this lays down. It's pretty consistent. Not too thin. I thought it'd be too small to actually uh, work with. But it does seem to have a good uh, feel to it as far as being able to lay down the ink. Not too uh, grippy with it being a tighter or smaller nib on there. It doesn't seem to be gripping the paper too bad. So guys, that's just a quick little review of the Lamy uh, Special Edition All Black Safari Fountain Pen. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, quick review. Like I say with most of my reviews, I think I'm gonna like using this uh, extra fine 
point to use uh, for sketching in my notebook because sometimes I just need a little tighter uh, nib on it to get some writing or get some details into my drawing so this will take the place of the fine point in that situation but I'll also keep the uh, fine point and medium point just on the side just in case I need them to fill in some extra heavier lines or different types of graphics and stuff on my notebooks that I do and those will be coming in the future to show you uh, how to start yours or what you can put in yours I've been following a lot of people on Instagram that inspire me and hopefully you do too and hopefully one day I will inspire you to start your own notebook but in the meantime I hope you enjoy this little review don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time guys have a good one Thank you.